Aren't you sick and tired of your pointless Discord drama? Is this really who you're destined to be? Someone who plays video games with all your online friends and your e-girlfriends. Your parents told you how special you were. You tell yourself when you do finally try, you can probably actually make something of yourself. Is it your destiny to be sitting there in front of Discord, hopping on a Discord call and telling everyone that your free micro server from a browser hosting website is finally online and they can join now? Is this what you're destined to be? Weren't you supposed to be special? Let me tell you my story. About three years ago, I had a Discord clan with about 200 members and I had a YouTube channel that did gaming to go with that and i had about six thousand subscribers i think a bit more than 10 people were kind of the main group and we would play games together every single day for hours on then and i took pride in the unity we had because i didn't experience any great relationships or good friendships so this was all i had and this is all i valued and since i was the leader i would occasionally deal with drama between the members and i would mediate and i would strategize how i can put things together and made me feel super good about myself like I'm some competent leader I always wanted to be the leader I always wanted to appear as the most competent one we also used to compete in mobile games and we would play against other clans and this was a game called critical ops which is basically an absolute dog water knockoff version of counter strike and we would play this religiously you know, I would have strategies to fight different opponents and sometimes we would compete with actual like professional players in the scene and that made me feel important and in the discord clan there were like online relationships and disputes that happened through fucking conversations in discord it was some high level autism and what i think i needed back then was somebody to come and tell me that i was simply simulating what i wanted in real life which is leadership which is competence which is respect admiration and i spent all my time invested into this discord clan because i believed that was what would give me those things but it only kind of gave me a shadow of it <sighs> i remember dealing with remarkably retarded situations like one of the clan members was fucking 12 at the time and my friend who was like 17 or 16 i forgot they had like some sort of intimate connection where we, they would text each other love love text and shit like that it was so fucking cringe man and this happened like three times with the same girl and three different overaged men. A 12 or 13 year old girl messing around with the heads of 16, 17 year olds. Because they're all so horny and lonely in real life that they have to settle for this young girl. And I was in the middle of all of it. They were all my friends. Naturally, this was weird as hell. And I wanted to do what I could to mediate the situations, get my nose into it, and stop the freaking pedophilic acts. What the hell is going on in Discord? The fact that I can even mention that is weird. You know, the fact that I even been through that. It's weird as hell, man. I hate Discord with every ounce of my soul. And there were many situations where people would talk around each other's backs. The 12 year old girl and the 17 year old guy even kind of manifested a plan behind my back to meet and to continue to speak and to continue to get closer without me knowing. Because obviously my ass was trying to break them apart because that's weird. But the truth is I should have just left or at least remove them from the clan because I had the power to do so. But my fear of loss didn't let me do that. One of the guys is 18 years old right now and the last I've heard of him he is still playing games with 14 year old girls and making friends with them. What the hell? I know there are exceptions that, you know, you can find a good online friend and my situation is kind of weird, but it really has to be quite a rare percentage that you get to experience an actual healthy online relationship. So you really have to take some time to consider, is this what you want? And is this giving you what you truly need in life? You want to meet the wonderful girl. You want to get to know so many people you want to build an adventure and a story for yourself in real life you really do so why waste your potential for greatness if you have the ability to mediate and to deal with all those pointless discord dramas why can't you do the same in real life the game is completely different managing people in real life is not the same and it's difficult but you shouldn't be afraid of the difficulty because that's where beautiful experiences come if you were anything like me and you subconsciously really want to walk into real life and seek those experiences out you know you watch those anime you watch those films and tv shows and you see their wonderful adventure and you see them make so many new friends through their hardships you see them meet a wonderful girl how could you ever find it on discord it's completely different and it's not what you want it's really not what you want you need to run away from it as soon as you can and your future self will be so grateful for you build your competence in real life if you're fat ugly skinny you can do things about that that's completely changeable shock everybody build muscle and scare the hell out of everyone you know you want to nobody doesn't want a good physique it's just how bad someone wants it step up in cca in class getting good 
results in schools opens up your opportunities. The girls will come to you to ask you for help. And isn't that a wonderful motivator? Even though it's autistic as fuck. <laughs> they say don't do things for girls, but why not if it actually helps us? You gotta start building a story now. You gotta improve yourself. And then let them be shocked a few months later when they realize, holy shit, you've changed. You've become more well-spoken. You've become more excited to pick up opportunities in real life. You've become less socially anxious in real life because you've challenged your fears and you've went to challenge yourself and talk to the people you're afraid of. And you pick up skills like being able to disagree, to suggest, to tease. And you're less afraid of social confrontation. You lose that pointless fear of missing out online when you find out that there's so much more beauty in real life. You get less irritated by your parents constantly telling you to do your work. Because you're actually doing your work now and you find that pride in fulfilling your duty as a child because you represent your parents and you should become an admirable person. I remember when I first started improving myself, I rapidly picked up every opportunity I can get and I eventually even beatboxed on stage. From a fucking loser, a fat retard that played video games for 8 hours at McDonald's with another guy. I love you Tanya. To be boxing on stage, to participating in social events, to going to the gym with a bunch of fit men. That sounds gay as fuck. Shut the hell up, okay? It's cool. I had an 18 year dry spell with no relationships, no female expressing any interest in me. And it took me a little bit of time, a little bit of time of pure dedication and focus to getting better, of removing the bad habits in my life, of quitting that retarded Discord clan, to getting the opportunities I wanted, meeting girls, walking into a room feeling good about myself, building my relationship with my family, being able to have meaningful conversations with friends in real life, where we can actually hug each other and look each other in the eyes and tell each other that we're proud of one another and we're so grateful to have met them. Isn't that beautiful? And don't get me wrong, when I had those Discord friends, I knew them all in real life as well. After meeting online, we met in real life and we consistently did so. It's not like they were just online friends, but it's entirely different when you're united by a video game. They had no ambition, they were all seeking comfort. We're not looking for that in life and we don't need that comfort if it means that we can find the people that we deserve and finally live and dedicating ourselves to finding that purpose and fulfillment in life. Quit your Discord clan. Now, get out of there bro, get out of there. It's time we live, starting today, we live. So better work.